Hello there YouTube, and welcome back to Gym Leader Matt. I know it's been a while since my last video. Um, I kind of dropped off the face of the earth in this channel, at least for a little bit. But, I'm back now. Um, I figured that, might as well, there's no harm in restarting this channel. I wouldn't say it's back, like, for sure, like, full time. I don't... I don't necessarily want to focus on making gaming videos my main thing because I've got other stuff that I want to do here, especially now that I'm majoring in film at college. There's a lot of cool stuff that I want to work on, but uh, gaming videos are definitely something that I want to bring back, something that I have a lot of fun doing and I have a lot of fun doing with you guys. So yeah, we're going to start a new chapter on the channel now. We're not just going to play Batman video games and Pokemon video games anymore. We're going to be sort of branching out and looking at more stuff. Of course, it's still going to stay Gym Leader Matt because it's... Classic, you got, you got a brand, but um, yeah, so I'm very excited to bring all this new content to you guys and restart the channel. So, with that said, in the mood of this spooky, spooky season, um, today's Halloween, please enjoy episode one of Outlast. That is the first series we're going to be playing on this channel, and I recorded this footage about two days ago on the 29th, so. This, this video game I'm going to be trying to play to completion, or at least as close to completion as I can get. I'm a very easily scared boy, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, this should be fun. But with that said, guys, I've already talked enough. Enjoy episode one of Outlast. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to Outlast. <clears throat> That's right. Today we are going to be playing something a little bit different than I've played before on the channel. It's not it's not a Batman video game or a Pokemon video game. That's really about it. Today we're actually going to be playing a horror game. Oh, goody. I can't wait. I'm a, I'm a bitch. I'm going to straight up a bit. I'm a pussy. And I get easily scared. So this should be a good time. It's around Halloween. It's... October 29th, two days before Halloween and I'm recording this, so, spooky. Uh, we'll see how far we can get in this game before I either get too spooked or lose interest. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, I, I haven't, <clears throat> I've played about 10 minutes worth of this game before, and that's it. I played like the first 10 minutes of this game, and other than that, I'm totally blind, so I'm very excited to do this. Also, just off camera my roommate Sean if I say some dumb shit he'll probably make fun of me so but that said let's just start a new game um, difficulty normal hard nightmare insane well I'm pretty sure if you do insane mode <laughs> you um then you get no restarts if you die and I I'm trash at video games I'm I'm terrible so we're not gonna do that instead we're just gonna do normal I like how there's no easy mode it's funny Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic, sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. Excellent. My favorite, my favorite kind of uh, sexual content. Graphic. Graphic sexual content. You are Miles Upshur, investigative reporter whose ambition is about... Oh, sorry, I should do this in a more, like, dramatic voice. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate. You will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Way to be dramatic game. Alright, let's, let's give it a whirl here, shall we? Oh boy. I'm excited to play this, honestly, because I, despite the fact I'm very easily scared. I'm a, I'm a little boy. I do like horror games. Horror games are fun. So, we're gonna start this up here. I've never actually, like, ran this on my co this computer before. I ran it on my roommate's Xbox out there, but I've never actually run it on my computer before, so this should be fun. It's taken about two centuries to boot up, but should be a good time, I think, once it actually does boot up. We're just taking our time here. There we go. Oh man, here we are in the whip. Changing weather patterns were blamed for livestock behavior. Encourage ranchers and breeders. 
So we got a press pass up there. Oh, is that is that um, Mount Massive Asylum? Oh, good, excellent. Ag oh, we really need to fill up on gas. We are low on gas. <sighs> okay. One thing that I will preface this with is that I crack jokes when I'm uncomfortable or scared. So just know that I'll be cracking jokes a lot during this playthrough, because otherwise I will be scared out of my goddamn mind. Why would we ever go to a place called Mount Massive Asylum? Like, I don't think I would go anywhere near a place if it was called Mount Massive Asylum, but hey, maybe that's just me. Oh boy, okay, here we go. Got a pretty sick, sick whip, I must say. September 17th, you don't know me, have to make this quick, then I moderate. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff, psych psychiatric systems facilities in Mount Massive, all sorts of NDAs. I'm very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Fair enough. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy, going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt, and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. All right, dog, whatever you say. See, we got some batteries, always good, and we got ourselves a camera. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome to my vlog. Um, today, we're going to be doing a tour of the Insane Asylum. And, yeah, so make sure you hit like and subscribe. Uh, ring that notification bell, as always. Oh, Jesus. This looks... Terrible. This is. N oh, no. Please. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Can I please get back in my car and leave? Nope. Oh, of course not. Ah, oh, Christ. Alright, here we go. What's what's going on up in here? Go. Wait, no, go into the thing. Thank you, Miles. Investigative reporter Miles Upshur. Okay, so control is crouch. Okay, nothing there, I guess. What is run? Space. Okay, cool. To hold down a door, to open a door quickly, press left mouse button to open a door. Slowly hold down left mouse button and... Okay, I didn't... <sighs> to raise your camcorder, press right mouse, right mouse button. Okay. Oh. What was... What was that? <sighs> Alright. Okay. Cool. Notes are only added to your notebook when your camcorder is raised to record events. Let's see, we got some military vehicles up here. Excellent. Okay, let's let's run here. To crouch, hold down control. Okay, yeah, for those of you who don't know, I am playing this with keyboard and mouse. Because... I, when it comes to video game control, like with actual controllers, I'm just like, I'm bad. I suck when it comes to controllers. I'm just straight up. So, I, my, my, my hands just don't know what to do. I just like get an extra chromosome. It's bad. So, keyboard and mouse it is. And this music is super spooky, dude. Okay, so shift to jump. Got it. To jump up, press shift. Okay, cool. So far, so good, man. Honestly. What if I just fell from here and this was just the end of the game? Oh. There's so much fog over there by where my car is. I legitimately can't even see my fucking car anymore. No, that's cool. No, this is good. This is real good. This music is not spooky at all. Oh, Jesus. Alright, here we go. Oh, fuck me, dude. Oh, I hate this. This sucks so much. It's like I said, I only played this game for a short time. Oh, my God. You can't see it right now, but this room that I'm in is very dark. The only light in here is coming from the two lights up here. My computer screen and Sean's stuff over there. It's like 
what? It's like seven o'clock at night and it is pitch black outside. <sighs> I am thoroughly spooked. Wait, what? Oh my god. Oh, I thought that was a person. Okay. Whew, baby, baby. Um, okay. You know, I'm just gonna, like, climb up here, because there's a bunch of noises down there, and I do not like them, Sam I am. And there's, okay. Great. This is a good start. So, uh, thanks guys for watching my vlog so far. I know there's been some creepy happenstances. I know we've been checking out this old... That's... There's a spider web right there. I know we've been checking out this old asylum. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys. I'm glad you guys have been enjoying asylum vlogs lately. You know, we out here in Mount Massive Asylum. Oh. My. Fucking. God. Good, there's people that are just, like, impaled. It's cool. It's sweet. Hey, pal. They killed us. Are those severed heads just chilling on... Okay. You can't fight them. You have to hide. Yeah, the game told me that I can't fight them, actually, and that I have to hide. So. Okay. Yeah, the game, you know, funny fact, the game actually told me, literally, you cannot fight. So, I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. Oh, God, no. This is pretty much the worst thing ever, I will say. I mean, I'm spooked, but I'm also having a good time right now. Gonna, gonna creepity crawl over yonder. I am so tense right now. My everything is clenched. Oh boy. I remember this part right here. I know some scary shit's about to happen. Yep. Okay. Yep. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> and who are you then? What's up, Sean? Dude, I'm spooked. I this game is so spooky. You sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have <coughs> Have you ever played Outlast before, Sean? It's a spooky horror game. You go around in a spooky old asylum. I just got thrown through a window by a giant dude. Oh, look. And there's a giant thing that says proclaim the gospel written in blood up on a wall. Sweet. Oh, did I did I land on you? I'm sorry. Did I land on you? <laughs> My bad, buddy. Here, uh, let me let me uh, compensate you for your. Okay, I fell from up there. Good to know. I'm just keeping this recorded so I know that none of this. I am not liable for any of this shit. By the way. Hey, buddy. Can I? Do you? Does any change? Like a cup of sugar or something I could borrow. Alright. We got a, a secret file. Cool, cool. Um. Okay. So there's a door over here. Can I open it? Of course not.
these doors are all blocked off. Here we go. I can go into here. Perfect. Blank computer screen. Blank computer screen. Blank computer screen. Cool. Anything of value in here? What is this? It's a file. Got him. Oh, I can peek. Anything of value over here? Nope. Okay, so I can peek. Oh, Jesus. There is a dude in a wheelchair. And I know he's about to spook me. Hey, fella. I just got thrown out a window by Lex Luthor. Actually, no, Lex Luthor's but the Incredible Hulk. More like Lex Luthor is the one that talked to me down there. And I just actually, Lex Luthor's DC and Hulk's Marvel. I'm just making bad jokes because I'm terrified. Oh, look, it's Lex Luthor again. You got some nasty little scars on your face there, bud. Oh, yes. Quality programming. Aw. I feel like that sometimes, too. Are you alive? No, you're not. Ooh, he's got a key card. Sweet. Someone pick up the phone, please. Jesus. Is that is that is that something I can get, or is that just no? That's just a detail. Okay. Oh, my batteries are getting low. That isn't good. I'm gonna have to change them soon. I don't necessarily know what the control is to change batteries because I. Uh, didn't memorize what I put the controls as, so I think it's R to reload. I'll test it in a little bit when I get really low. Okay, now you're for sure gonna spook me. There is no doubt in my mind. I'm watching you, bub. Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ. Get them out! You, sir, you're a douche. I don't care that you're in a wheelchair. You're a dick, dog. Yes, yes, I'm aware. I'm going to... Listen, I still have a little bit of power left in those batteries. I'm going to use as much power as I can. Another wheelchair. Good. Good. Now I can look behind you while it hold. Oh, I'm gonna hide over here. This game does an excellent job of building atmosphere. Oh no, that's not. It's not disturbing at all. Nothing in here. Oh, I see someone had a little accident. Witness, believe me, I am. <laughs> Fair enough. I think this deserves to be... That's good. No, that's a good... Okay. I'm just gonna sit in here with my buddy. What's your name? I'm gonna call you Curtis. Me and Curtis are gonna chill in here. Forever. No, we're not. We are gonna skirt, skirt out of here. Anything in here? That's not spooky shit? No. Why would there be anything in here except for spooky shit? 
Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. You can reload by pressing R. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do in a little bit. Alright, well, I have the security key card. So I'm gonna open up this door ever so slightly, and then we are gonna shut the door. <sighs> you know what, Miles? What's the point in just like stealthily, quietly opening the door when you're just gonna fucking slam it like that? Whatever, I don't give a fuck. Alright, here we go. We're gonna unlock the main doors. And that, this is actually the end of the game, guys. It was a good, it was a good run, but yeah, this is actually the end of the game, and we're just gonna escape right now, because that's for sure how games like these work, right? <sighs> Fucking of course. Perfect. Oh, saving. Cool. Oh god, there's someone coming. Hide in the locker. Don't try to fight. Uh, you don't have to tell me twice. Press left mouse button to exit. No. No, definitely not. Um, <laughs> ain't, ain't no one here but us dust mites. I'm just a little dust mite inside this locker. I think this is a good place to end the episode. Is I don't know if I could take any more of this in one session. So thank you guys for watching. Hit comment, like, and subscribe for the next episode of my asylum vlog. And I'm just gonna stay in this locker forever. I'm never coming out again. Goodbye. Sean, I don't think you understand how spooky this game is, dude.